and welcome to Reading the Word with Luther for May 3rd. Today I'm reading to you from the Drury Plaza at the Riverwalk in San Antonio, uh, a day ahead of the NALC Pastors Conference, and I am wanting to read to you today from Ecclesiastes chapter 9, and I think I'm going to read, oh, just verse 15. But there was found in a city a poor wise man, and by his wisdom he delivered the city. Yet no one remembered that poor man. This is the word of God. Luther wrote about that verse saying, Whenever we turn our eyes we see in all conditions of life a flood of terrible examples of ingratitude for the precious gospel. We see how kings, princes, and lords quarrel and fight, envy, and hate one another oppressing their own people and destroying their own countries. They tax themselves with not so much as a single Christian thought about ameliorating the wretchedness of Germany. The noblemen rake and rend, robbing whom they can, prince or otherwise, and especially the poor church. Townsmen and farmers are extremely avaricious, extortionate, and treacherous. They fearlessly per perpetrate every sort of insolence and wickedness and without shame and punishment. The earth cries to heaven, unable longer to tolerate its oppression. But why multiply wealth? It is in vain so far as the world is concerned. No admonition will avail. The world remains the devil's own. Notwithstanding, the world's refusal to be influenced by the recognition of God's goodness and in spite of the fact that we are obliged daily to see, hear, and suffer the world's increasing ungratefulness the longer it stands. We must not allow ourselves to be led into error, for we will be unable to change it. We must preach against the evil of ingratitude wherever possible, severely censuring it, and faithfully admonish all men to guard against it. Although compelled to live alongside the ungrateful, we are not for that reason to fall into error, nor to cease from doing good. But if your good works are wrought with the object of securing the thanks and applause of the world, your reward will justly be that of him who crushes with his teeth the hollow nut only to defile his mouth. If when you meet with ingratitude, you angrily wish to pull down mountains and resolve to give up doing good, you are no longer a Christian. You injure yourself and accomplish nothing. Let the God-fearing Christians give evidence of their willingness to hear the word of God. Let them show by their lives a consciousness of the great blessing conferred by those from whom they receive the gospel. Let their hearts and lips ever be ready with the happy declaration, God be praised. Such manifestation of gratitude assuredly must result when we comprehend what God has given us. Well, it is tempting to give up when you don't see the results that you want to see, whether it be in elections or in your local church or uh, in your family, your marriage, um, wherever. It's tempting to give up instead of to persevere and to be a Christian, to continue doing good and hearing God's word and letting it have an effect on us. So, may God's word have an effect on you today because you listen. And if you will listen, the Holy Spirit will have his way with you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, we give you thanks that you are in charge despite what we see. Help us to see you despite everything else that is going on around us. We ask that you would be our focus today for your sake. Amen. Thank you for joining me for reading the word with Luther today. All through this week, I'll be bringing it to you from various spots in San Antonio at the Riverwalk. And I hope that you'll enjoy this kind of change of scenery as we continue to listen to God's word and Luther's thoughts about it. Blessings on your day. I hope you'll be back with me again tomorrow for reading the word with Luther.